You know me, I'm at it again. It's Sunday. She wanted to go grocery shopping in the town over from ours because they have better stores. And it's gonna take a few hours, so I just had her drop me off at the river. And then I'll call her when I'm done. So it's 2.30 in the afternoon right now, so I got a, a few good hours. It's a cloudy day and there's a cold front coming through. Uh, see if I can get some crappie and, and largemouth again and spotted bass. But one minute to get into a nice bass. It's bigger than any of them I caught yesterday. I gotta be really careful because this is four pound line. My goodness. I'm actually using my crappie poles when I tend to get the bass I'm not expecting. My goodness, it's a nice one. Oh, and he's got a lamprey attached to his back. I'll show you guys once I get him in. This fish has a lamprey hooked to his skin, which is kind of like a leech. Pretty much the same thing, I think. I caught one out of here like that a few years ago. Oh, it's hard for me to get down to get this guy. <sighs> Without getting wet. That lamprey's still on there. It's a nice spotted bass. Oh, and he really was hungry as much as this thing went in his mouth. Alright. Here's the lamprey I was talking about. Look at that, folks. Oh, that's disgusting. Like a giant leech. Except they have eyes. There, he just fell off. Well, that is a nice spot. Might be almost two dang pounds. Oh, I'm gonna have to have the pliers to get this guy. He's really inhaled it. When I, there's days I go where I have her drop me off for several hours and I really wanna leave, but I can't because I have to wait on her when they're not biting. And that's a good sign that I'm going to have a good time when I caught one that quick. Hadn't even been fishing for two minutes. Alright, that is a nice spotted bass right there. Beautiful red eyes and pregnant. i to get her put back in. I caught him on the chartreuse and black beetle spin. I'm using beetle spins a lot right now because the water is just perfectly murky and uh, it seems to attract more of the stubborn fish. Alright, let's put her back. Second fish about five minutes into the day here. It's a smaller one. It's another spot on the same lure. He's maybe 10 inches. All right, two bass so far. on had about 10 minutes with nothing i was tossing a crankbait trying something different oh and he's got me hung up oh he went underneath this car oh no he ain't gonna come back out he went around the axle oh, i might get him there we go nope he's wrapped oh got him 
Oh, oh, he got off right at the edge. Man. The crappie still ain't biting in this river because it's a fairly cold stream, spring fed, but the bass are going absolutely nuts today. For how long I've been here, I have to admit. Oh, I almost had him too. He was just that, him getting wrapped around that axle didn't help. Oh, I got another one, folks, and it's a nice one. Oh, come on! Don't get me hung up like that last one. Yeah, it's small. Still a fish though. Oh, and there was another one chasing it. That's a real good sign that I can throw it right back in and get the other one. This would be fish number four, but it's fish number three. He's about a 10 incher. I like how they all have the red eyes right now. And another one, folks. Oh yeah, this is a nice one here. Finally, oh man. Don't break my line. Don't break my line. Ooh, I gotta loosen my drag. Oh, I gotta let him wear. This is a real large mouth, I think. I can tell the dip. Yes, it is. Major difference in the fight. A large mouth takes a lot longer to tire down. That is a large mouth. Boy. Five fish in less than a half an hour. I tell you, folks, it don't get no better than this. Taking a break from the crappie for a bit and going after bass. Oh, yeah. Oh, look at that beauty. Oh. 13 or 14 inch right here. Not bad at all. bad. Nice little large mouth. I was starting to wonder if I'd ever get a true large mouth because the spotted bass population in here is, oh, it seems like it's at least five to one. So I finally got a real one. It's a pregnant female also. Or just fat it up. I, I do believe this is a female though. Pre-spawn. Now we're going to put her back. That's a beauty. They are just absolutely loving this beetle spin, I tell you. You can't find this color at Walmart. You have to order these. They're black with a chartreuse tail and also a chartreuse dot on each side, so it don't matter. You can't put it upside down with it being like that. Uh, and when the water's just a little murky, this is the go-to color, I'm telling you. They, they cannot resist that black and chartreuse. I just got fish number five. I was vertical jigging this beetle spin in front of this car because it kind of has swift current here it's, and uh, you can't really fish it because you'll get hung up also. And I was vertical jigging, messing around, trying to get a crappie actually and got him. That's fish number five. <laughs> wow, I'm getting them quick today compared to yesterday. Yesterday was supposed to be the better day. But I'll tell you what, it ended up being today instead of yesterday. Doing way better today. six on right now it had a big gap between them I haven't caught nothing in about 40 minutes it's another pretty nice one I finally switched my lure well I, I still got the beetle spin on there but I caught this guy on a three inch 
two colored grub with a quarter ounce jig head in a hole where I really didn't think there'd be at yet. Cold as it is, it's a swift hole. Nice bass. This twister tail is really nice. It's a, uh, I'll show you here since I ever get him unhooked. It's half white on one side and half clear with glitter with a chartreuse tail. Got me a nice, oh my God, it's another fish with a lamprey on it. Look folks, second one, he fell off again. Boy, I wonder what the deal is with them in this river. That's the third time that I've seen that. Two of them were today. Obviously an infestation of them in this place. All right, that's bass number six. We're gonna put him back. Good one. Now, luckily, this pole has 10 pound line, so I don't have to stress as much about losing the fish. Oh, yeah, folks. Got another one. Fish number seven, if I get it. It's another nice one. Probably a 13 or 14. Oh, yeah. Boy, that's a big one, actually. Wow. Nice. Nice bass. Wow. Oh, yeah. Boy, what a beauty. That is a nice spot right there. Another bloated one, no lamprey this time, thank God. Scared to pick some of these up. It's a nice bass right there. Folks, I've had a good day today. I haven't caught any crappie, but I think in these rivers like this that are spring fed, they just, they're a little later than they are in ponds and lakes. But hey, I'll take these, that's fine with me. Nice bass. same hole I just got the last one and it's another nice one boy they love these tree laid out the current goes around it and there's just a little eddy pothole behind it oh my gosh he got off that was my biggest one today too man he was easily 15 goodness gracious that was a bigger one I spooked them now. Oh no, I got him again. Different one. Wow. It's a little smaller, but it, I thought for sure I spooked these fish. This is definitely not the one I just had, though. My goodness. That's number eight. Eight bass today already. And I haven't even been fishing, but maybe two hours. Oh, it ain't the one I just had. He was twice this big, but uh, hey. At least I didn't totally spook them. This thing really ain't even that deep right here. It's maybe three or four feet. All right, that's spotted bass number seven and one largemouth. Folks, it was really cloudy when I first got here. Now the sun came out and it ended up being a gorgeous day. Chartreuse beetle spin, except I got a pink head on it this time. That way there's three colors for him to gawk at. There he is. Oh, yeah. It's not that one still, but hey. Boy, they are just stacked in this hole. It's about another 12 or 13 inch or though. Boy, I got a 
let these fish wear down with this four pound line. I'm surprised one hasn't broken it yet. I one thing, if I get a both in, I'm screwed. But it just seems like when you use this light line, folks, you do get a lot more bites compared to when you're using 10 pound line. The, the fish, never assume the fish are dumb. Oh yeah, boy. <laughs> That's fish number nine. My goodness. one there folks. Wow. These are some nice river spots. Nothing compared to a Lake Largemouth, but you know what? If that's all I can get out of here, it's it's they're decent. There's days where you go and you catch all of them that are six to eight inches. Every one of these today has been twelve to thirteen inches. Almost every one. So I'm not gonna complain. Chartreuse and black. This is what they call a crappie kicker. Still got the pink jig head and the beetle spin added to it though. So it's pretty much the same allure. That last bass tore my last one up that I had of that kind. I'll show you guys what a crappie kicker is. They're basically a, a miniature swim bait. Oh my gosh. Number 10. My goodness. I'm on fire today, guys. This is what a crappie kicker is. It's black on top, chartreuse on bottom. Just, and it's got a real thin tail at the back that circles around when you reel it in. Another 13. Alright. And of course, these things are not starving around here. They are thick. Really girthy. Basically today I'm targeting medium depth structure. They're not on real they're not in real deep water. They're only in about three to four feet of water. And that's where I'm finding them at. So far I'm on number eleven. The next one will be twelve. up here. Number 12 folks if I get it. Oh, it broke my line. No, he fell off. Okay. Alright. Fish number 12, folks. This is probably one of the smaller ones I've got. He's still 11 or 12 inches, though. Another spot. Oh, they are just aggressive today. These, these bass are very aggressive. Another one. 
That's another nice one. Snakes. I kind of lost track. Oh, this is 13, yeah. My goodness. huge by any means but they're all decent for a river spotted bass they're they're pound some some of them up to two pounds they're not huge but i'll take them. all right that makes number 13 got him on the crappie kicker again Pink jig head with a spinner at it. Like I said, I think they're honestly just after the spinner, it doesn't matter what color I'm using or what it is. You could probably just use a jig head and a spinner and they'd be hitting it today. That's how aggressive these fish are. Okay, I got this one. Oh, and it's a, okay, this is the biggest fish of the day right here, folks. It's a channel cat, wow! On a bomber Model A. Boy, it's a nice three or four pounder too. My goodness, that's what I'm talking about. A nice surprise, wow! Channel cat on a crankbait. At least I finally got something different. Well, he's about three pounds though, two or three. Wow, that is cool. Got the slime on the line. I almost started thinking it was a bow fin there for a second. This hole right here is a magic hole. Boy, he ain't even close to being tired. <laughs> oh boy. The only thing I can think of today, it's supposed to be fair according to the fish and almanac, but we have a, a front coming in tonight. We're supposedly got a 100% chance of rain tomorrow. And that barometer is probably why the fishing's good. I've had this happen before where it's not supposed to be a good day. And it ends up being one anyway. Wow, that's a nice channel cat. Wow. He is about three and a half pounds. Oh, I'm definitely going to have to have the pliers on this guy. Oh, boy. And I got it. All right, folks. Let's get a look at this channel cat. It is definitely a nice one. Well, shoot. Alright. Trying not to get thinned. That's a nice channel cat. Trying to hold him sideways for you guys. About three pounder. It's not bad at all. Oh man. Oh goodness, I am so sorry, buddy. I am so sorry. Thank God these fish are tough. He's going right back. Oh yeah, he'll be alright. Alright, buddy. Didn't mean to drop him like that. Let's see if we can get something else. Yeah, right there I was twitching the crankbait to give it a little more action I paused it and then jerked it like a jerk bait right when I did that this bass attacked it Wow that's number 15 for me God, just imagine if I would have went all day how many I could have caught biggest one today right here if not he's tied for that other one he's a good 14 at least he might go 15 
Oh yeah, folks. Now that's a big spotted bass right there. Yeah. Oh boy. Obviously, I'm leaving the crankbait on now. It's fun. A lot of fun. I love cranking. Cold water cranking. And it uh, worked. All right. This is number bass number 16. A little smaller guy compared to the rest of the day I've had. It's on the lower end. I'm literally caught three fish right here in front of my legs. Maybe three feet in front of me. Let's put him back. It's a little 10 incher there. Oh, yeah. Cast it across the other side of the river by that tree over there right in front of me. As soon as it hit the water, this thing smacked it. I believe it's a spot. Yeah, it's acting like, whoa, whoa. A nice one too i mean it didn't even sink the lure of course i hit cl close to the bank and uh didn't really have a chance to even sink i was letting it drop and he smacked it right away boy i tell you it's been a good day that's all i can say oh yeah that's another nice one another 14. This one I'm gonna have to reach down for. Cause I got my Mr. Croppy line on. Boy. It's a nice one. destroyed I've caught so many on it now got a big old rip in it all right folks I think that's best 16 it might be 15 or 16 it's just non-stop action today only other fish I caught was that catfish everything else has been spotted bass and one large mouth they're decent though if I was if I had no money to eat I definitely wouldn't be starving but I, it ain't even supposed to be any good today but it's probably that storm that's coming in 17 of them <laughs> none of them are big or anything but they're okay about tw 12 inches Yeah. Fish right there, where the falls is coming out. Oh yeah. Huh. Oh my goodness. I caught one today on a lure of all things. Or I'm gonna let him go. It's another 12 incher. Yeah. I'll, if I wouldn't have wore these, I would have been. I probably would have got wet and sick. I, I something told me to wear these because I. Figured the banks might be slippery and muddy. Yeah, they're usually wet. Yeah. Are you the one that lives right there? No, I'm visiting my parents. Oh, okay. Yes. All right, this is my last fish I'm leaving after this. This is number 18. My God.
half decent. Well, oh no, I'm hung up on someone else's line. Come on, get out of there. Oh, the worst thing that could possibly happen. Hung up on another line and it won't budge. Good God. I hope he swims out of it. Nope, he's still stuck in it. Ah, there's nothing I can do. It's too deep to walk out there. God. That's a shame. Oh, I got it. And I got my crankbait back. Yes. Oh, what the good luck I'm having. I got my bomber model hay back, or my bandit back that I got hung on that same line earlier. And I got the fish. Boy, yes. I just saved $5. Thank God. Yes. Boy, talk about good luck right there. Boy, I thought that line was gonna snap for sure. All right, that finishes my day off. I caught 18 bass and one catfish. She's probably already sitting in the car waiting on me. I told her 20 minutes and it's been about 20, so I gotta get going. We're gonna put him back. Boy, I did. the odds were against me there, folks, but I was able to pull it off another 14 incher. All right, this ends the day. I want to end off by saying, you guys know how there's days where you just wonder where the hell the fish are. It's just like almost they're not there because you did good there before and then you go there and it's just like you don't catch a single thing and you just wonder where the heck the fish are. It's like they don't even exist. Well, today was the exact opposite of that. Today was one of those days where you wonder where the hell they were all coming from because I was pulling five or six fish from one hole. Small hole. Just an excellent day. One of them days where you wonder how you wasn't spooking them and how you were catching so many. That was one of them days. This don't happen all that often, a couple times a year. But I'll tell you what, I only fished for three and a half hours and caught 18 bass and a catfish. So 19, 19 fish in three and a half hours. Uh, you know, that don't happen all the time. I've had days where I come here and catch three or four fish in six hours. It just seems like they were hitting anything today. Uh, I tell you what I want to come back here with is some full size spinner baits. I could really tear them up. All right, folks. I'll see you next weekend where I'll be going to a slough in search of, for some more crappie since I lost my crappie place. It's a place I tried one time in December and I did catch some smaller crappie in there. So it has potential to have some bigger ones we're hoping. And uh, I gotta find me a new crappie spot before it's too late because there's about three to four more weeks of crappie fishing. I haven't had a good year yet so far. And I wanna find that place before it's too late. I got two spots I'm going to try. One next Saturday and then I'm going to, if that one don't do any good then I'm going to the other one the week after that and see what I can get out of there. Alright, you guys take care. Be sure to hit that like button and please subscribe.